It's hard when you're going one round, two rounds, everything looks good. When you go 12 rounds, you can notice the mistakes and you can go back and work on it. It looked like he wobbled his legs in the corner in the first round. The ref kind of broke, broke it up for whatever right. reason. Maybe I don't, he killed your momentum a little bit. Yeah, I don't think the referee saw it. You know, he but I would have shot the hook. You know, we, we're, we're real rough on the inside, and I think that, you know, Buchanan leading up to the fight, he made some comments about me being a slick, pretty boxer, and I don't know why guys get that perception. I'm very physical inside, and, you know, I guess he was ready to, you know, to rest, and I, I was ready to work, so I called him, and it was fair game. The referee didn't say anything, and I tried to jump on him, but, he, you know, he weathered the storm, and boom, the bell rang. But I did stun him. That was a good observation. <laughs> I noticed that your uh, footwork is secure. You're able to... Uh, keep him on the outside and kind of cut off the ring and then whenever you plant his feet you fire your, your combination kind of build up points was that your strike your whole strike. you guys are starting to figure me out man <laughs> That's what we did. We wanted to make him, like I said before, he did a lot of cute stuff, turning, posturing, you know, acting like I wasn't hurting him. And I wanted to let him know that if I'm not hitting you, I'm physically going to be in your face. So even if he moved away, I wanted to be right there. So you're right. And footwork is, you know, a major part of my game. I saw another thing. You were jabbing in the stomach, and it looked like he was going to rely on trying to throw that overhand right. right. But when you start jabbing in that stomach, it just took him out of the whole game plan. Right. Because every time you try to crotch down, he didn't know if you were going to jab back to his stomach. Or if you're gonna right. try to come back come up with the and up jab. jab, yeah, right. We had them off. We had them, you know, off balance, and that's that's what that's what being a champion is all about. Absolutely. You know. You know another thing I saw you do too is that a lot of guys ain't doing lately. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's from you know uh, uh, your, your trainer is the sword jab. You know, uh, um, a lot of guys don't use that to create that opening, and you're using Which it. What are you talking about? The, the sword straight? jab when you go up, you know, from yeah, here, yeah. right from the hip. Yeah, you we know? call it the, the, the Nassim shot, because Nassim used to lean and come up with that one. We used to do that when I was an amateur. We, we, right. we do several different jabs. You can't just come out and be one dimensional if you want to not only be a champion, but if you want to reign. Right. If you look Absolutely. at Bernard Hopkins, he, you know, he constantly reinvented himself over the years. Floyd Mayweather constantly reinvented himself. Uh, I mean, I can go on and on and on from the champions that reign, how they kept changing. So that's what I'm trying to do from fight to fight. I don't want to give you guys the same stuff every fight. Now, were you a little okay, surprised? On, Were you a little surprised in how he was confused? I mean, he, he looked like he wanted to go conventional and, you know, orthodox with you. He, he was he was trying to figure you out. It, it just seemed that if you would have just opened up a little bit more, maybe you would have got that knockout. Or would you thinking, you know what, I'm just going to wait because he still looks strong? Well, I mean, a guy like that, I mean, I, I got to watch the tape, you know, but I think there's definitely some spots where I could have opened up more. Um, then at the same time, you have a seasoned fighter, he's 30 years old, and he's doing nothing but looking for one shot. He's ducking, he's ducking, and ducking, and to the fans, it looks like, oh, he's scared, but he's looking for one home run shot, so right. I gotta be alert at all times. And the bottom line is get the W, that's what it boils right. down to. So I would, I would love to get the W, go back and watch the tape and say, you know what, I could have been more aggressive there, versus getting sloppy and getting caught. Absolutely. Did you talk about going southpaw in the corner, or did you just do it? Or I just did it. You know, my, you know, my, 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 my trainer, he, he, you know, we, we, we got a free corner in terms of he lets me flow, he lets me be me. He obviously gives me instructions, but he just kind of puts things on my mind. Hey, don't forget about this. Don't forget about that. Hey, if you see the left hand, left hand stands, go with it, because he understands that I'm in there. So he doesn't force me to do anything. And I just made the decision, and you know. I wasn't feeling it tonight as much as I was my last fight, so I stayed right-handed more. Another question about turning southpaw. Uh, is that with your knee? Is is it more comfortable for you it's to not have an your? Issue. It's, it's not an issue, issue at all. It has nothing to do with you. Okay. Knee's fine. I just got the brace on, just you know, just for um, um, just just to be safe. But I mean, the knee's fine. I mean, I've said it several times. If I can get through the training camps that we go through, you know, five, six, seven weeks, there's no way that I'm gonna have any problem in the ring. It's a, the knee is a non-issue. I can't wait to take the brace off so I can stop getting those questions about that. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, do you really want to? Are you? I know you're ready to. Do you expect to fight either a, a champ or a top top guy next time out? I'm ready now for it. I'm ready for it. I think that uh, you know. I think that uh, 
the right door is going to be open at the right time. You know, I'm just happy about constantly being seasoned. You know, you get a lot of questions about win, 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 and, and that's fine, you know, but I, I want to not only be a champion, I want to reign. And that takes time to be a seasoned pro where you can get the belt and keep it for a long, long time. So I'm open for that, but we'll see what happens. I'm really excited about fighting in my hometown. Right now I'm scheduled to fight April or May at Oracle in Oakland, California, if nothing bigger comes along. But I'm hoping it doesn't, so I want to fight in my hometown and then hopefully get a big fight after that. Do you feel it's about time you finally, you finally get uh, back to Oakland and in front of the hometown crowd? And I think it's long come out to support you. I'm starting to get a, you know, a bunch of frowns on the street now, just walking around. People <laughs> say, man, San Jose, you know, Lemoore, everywhere but Oakland. So I, I want to bring it. I mean, I, I really want to do that. And I think we're going to do it April and May. Did you expect more out of uh, a lot more? I, I expected a lot more. I was almost waiting for him to open up. You know, I knew he would do that 10 second thing. I, I noticed that when I watched the tape. 10 seconds, he comes in like he wants to do something. I just stay cool, hot shot him to get off. You know, he wants to try to, I mean, he couldn't even steal the round because he didn't do anything for the first two, two minutes and 50 seconds. But that's just part of his style. But I, I definitely expected more from you win, him. You win, you win so easy. It's like a clinic. And you win, and, and, and now people are going to go, oh, uh, you know what they're going to say. But, but you want to fight. I mean, so you win. Is, is it a win? Is it a good feeling? It's a great feeling for me. I mean, I think, I think I'm going to get, you know, not to compare myself with those guys, but... I think I'm going to get the same treatment that Roy got, same treatment that Floyd got. He's making it look easy. He's not fighting anybody. And a lot of times you'll make a guy look less than maybe what he is just based on your style. So it's never easy. I have to be alert. I had to be alert tonight for 36 minutes. That's a lot of stress on the body. And uh, well, you guys got to watch, to watch and see what happened. You know, you guys got to spectate it. But I had to be alert for 36 minutes. That's not an easy thing to do. Man. For your plane so fight. talking, that's a piece of cake. I love doing this. <laughs> <laughs> for your uh, plane fight in April or May, is that uh, you expect to, to take, you know, fight a top ten guy in that fight? Or uh, yeah, you, I mean, you know what? I mean, I'm, I, I mean, before this fight came along, HBO contacted my promoter about a Jermaine Taylor fight. I consented. I said, sure, I want the fight. Dan worked really hard to try to get the fight. HBO was on board. Showtime was on board fight got scrapped. There's been several other guys that Dan has gone after. They approached him about a fight with me. For whatever reason, the fight didn't go through. That's not my fault. I can't do anything about that. And I explained that to Steve Farhood yesterday. You know, I don't think these guys are scared, but I've been willing to fight these guys and they haven't been wanting to fight. I heard that HBO actually is the ones who uh, rejected the fight between you and uh, two, two different guys, actually. Uh, Green and... Uh, I want to say Miranda you know, two guys that... I don't know, you may be right, but I, I know about the last fight, before the Buchanan fight came up, we were on board for a Jermaine Taylor fight. I was excited about that. Ken Hurston at Showtime said it was a great deal. HBO wanted it. It didn't go through. So to answer your guys' question, those fights are lurking. Those fights are there, and I'm, and I'm open and I'm willing. Are you afraid that making it look so easy tonight that it can shy away from any of the champions at 160 at the moment? Or do you think, think they're going to be eyeing you and say, you know what, I want to take... Uh, you know, uh, uh, Oakland's favorite son right now. Do you think now. it's reverse? Probably a little bit of what do you mean. You win so easy, they might go, oh, he's not as good as he is. You'll probably get a mix. You'll probably get some guys who will know instinctively, hey, I don't want to fool with that kind of style. And then you'll have guys who will want to come after you. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm open and I'm willing for anything right now. So it sounds like it's just a little more of a waiting game right now and just trying to. It's just about winning. It's about progressing. You know, this business I'm learning is a lot more complex than what people think. People think that, you know, I can just say, hey, I want Taylor today and it'll be done. You got to get consent, consent from him. You got to get TV to buy it. You, I mean, it's two or three steps that you have to go through in order to get a fight like that made. It's not always that simple. Uh, one thing that I'd like to comment on is I noticed that you know Andre Burdo kind of had an easy road to a title, and all his fights were on primetime TV. And your fights, you've been fighting, you know, steps up every fight in, but you haven't been taking those primetime spots away from, you know, the the big fights like kind of Burdo did. He's been fighting on HBO a lot against guys that shouldn't really be on TV. Is that something that? Um, Roberto's doing a great job. You know, he's a good friend of mine, and you know his manager, uh, Al Heyman, his promoter, is doing a great job. I have nothing to say about the way he's being moved. Um, I love Showbox. You know, I don't look at it like it's a step down. I love what I can fight on Show uh, Showtime, HBO. I love Versus. I just want to keep winning. That's my bottom line. And I'm gonna have my season, and I'll have my lot when it's time for me. I don't want to compare myself to those guys. I'm happy for his success. Alright guys, um, commission needs them, so we gotta let them go. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Alright, there we go.